And all right, guys, Jason's back. He just watered the blueberries. He said there's a good amount of picking on them. Not a good amount, but <laughs> a small amount. <laughs> Garden harvests. Yes, garden harvest. I already told them earlier when I was uh, chainsawing. Yeah, we had to go get water because it literally every single time the storms like go, vroop, vroop. Like like, we've been watching them. They're like we're this circle miles. and they just go right around us every time. And yeah, we could wa literally watch the clouds pass us by. But so, um, it is what it is. Nothing we can do about it. So he had to go get water, like I said. Thankful for great neighbors, so we're gonna pick some blueberries and get some of our harvest out of our garden. I bartered some stuff for some water. <laughs> <laughs> but let's check out the blueberries, guys. Come check them out. So how long has it been since we planted the blueberries? A month? Maybe a month, maybe a little longer. Yeah, and it's we have middle of July, so I think we planted them like this, right around the same time we did this. So and we haven't had any shrivel up and die. So that's a good thing. No plants have died yet. Yeah. Some of them are getting discolored leaves, but hopefully yeah. we can save those with yep. water. Yep. Blueberry Bob said, yeah, just a little bit of stress on the plants. So, but they're still fine. It's like colored a little bit. So anyway, check it out, guys. Check it out. Still pretty healthy looking. But look over here. You might as well pick them before the birds get them. Before the birds get them. But look. those two and let them get a little more ripe. Yep. Lonely little blueberries. Can I have some blackberries here? <laughs> yeah, look at the blackberries, guys. We never really mentioned this, but there's all these blackberry bushes. We never maintained them or anything, but maybe this year they'll actually have stuff on them. Wild blue or wild blackberries. Raspberries up here too, right? But probably yeah, not growing. There's not many raspberries up here. Oh, here's a couple right here. There's here's a couple up there. Garden's going down here, guys. <laughs> Look at the squash behind Jenny. Show us the squash. It's like a spaghetti squash. Yeah. It's pretty big. Put your hand next to it. Now it just got to yellow up. We can eat it. Make us spaghetti squash pizza. Yeah. Look at that. That's, that's huge, actually. Definitely going to be expanding the garden beds next year. I'll have to go down the hill behind my flower beds because we won't I don't want to take up the yard and yeah, we're gonna have a ultimate homesteading garden up here <laughs> it's gonna be awesome like we just gonna get lots more of that soil from yeah. that guy and... and that farm gave hooked us up with uh, you know composted manure and it is doing the job it's paying off you know, it's a lot of work and we shoveled trailer loads and trailer loads up here but we're gonna do it again next year and double or triple the size of everything at least. Yes, because so. the squash kind of took over everything. Every single one of them lived. <laughs> yeah. And we didn't, like, just randomly, you know, all the zucchinis didn't live or something, or we didn't plant many zucchinis, we got all yellows and variety of other squash, but not zucchini. But anyway. Those are melons. That's. Here's another, I think that's another spaghetti squash. It's mixed in with these melons. But here's another yellow squash. Need to pick that one. A few blueberries over there. A couple. couple. One or two. Not a lot, but it's the first year, so. And and these are two year old plants. I don't think we'll get a huge harvest next year either because, you know, the 
the plants have to root well and then it takes a year or so for them to grow you know just the roots have to get established first and then we'll get a good harvest probably the year after next so we'll go to blueberry bobs for a year or two yeah we'll still go to up north blueberry here and hit him up for a few pounds until ours get established but look at this these are just wild blackberries i left as many as i could when i weed whacked the hill there's a few more blueberries down here that's, that's your this those one? two right there or your one. Uh, that one right there by your leg like right underneath you to the left right here yeah that's what are they called again elderberry Pop, elderberry yeah where's so, the other one right here that's an elderberry they're already doubled in size like they weren't that big when we planted them yeah i don't know if we so really talked about one. those guys like, look how big it is it was a third of that size actually we planted elderberry because they're supposed to be good for medicinal right using reasons right you can make syrup and stuff out of them i don't know exactly what to do how to do it but i'm happy to learn and those are like i said they were only like all that green stuff is yeah they were like this tall yeah like all that green from up yeah and this one look this it's yeah. sprouting off like all this uh you can see it it's just the bark there is old and then all this green stuff up here it's got is a new. flower coming off of it so maybe they'll make a berry yeah, it'll, maybe it'll get some berries i don't know exactly how that all works but i'll google it <laughs> yeah so as much a lot like fruit trees guys sorry about the lighting it's just this is all from here down is from last year and all this new green stuff is new growth just like fruit trees you know they get all them shoots and just like every tree or every bush basically you get all that new growth so that's awesome that there's new growth this year like a lot of times you plant stuff and then it just sits for a year or two and then takes off but we have good soil now we put all that compost we're going to keep putting more and more compost on top of this and the uh, red pine bark mm -hmm. that uh, supposedly adds, helps with the acidity of the soil. So, so we're gonna have an all, in like five years, we're gonna have a field of lavender and blueberries and raspberries. It's gonna be awesome. I'll be able to make stuff with lavender yeah. too. Be able to share some stuff with people and maybe yeah. sell a few things. Learn how help. to learn how to make lavender lotion or something find someone with some goats around here that i can make might have to talk to jc <laughs> send her some lavender in exchange yeah. for there you lotion go. There you go. <laughs> this is what we were hoping for is these big they're domesticated blueberries so guys these are domesticated blueberries they're blue crop uh from my understanding and i haven't researched i'm just going off of what bob said is that when they're domesticated they're made to be more of like a bush tree rather than ground cover like wild blueberries tend to crawl and he said after they get established you want to get rid of that crawling uh, growth and make sure it turns into a bush a vertical bush and that's what these are doing and they have huge blueberries like when you see wild blueberries they're tiny they're like the size of a bb or you know a pea and these are big blueberries mm -hmm. like not huge i mean they're big in comparison to a pea they're like twice the size triple the size so that's exciting yeah very exciting still so we got a handful guys there's still another amounts that are growing yeah. so they're all ripening at different times but there's probably only a couple handfuls through the whole patch but we'll go blueberry bob's place is opening it up in like a week so yeah. We got some projects to do and stuff, so we had a lot of fun the last two weeks, so we can't have any fun until we get a few more projects done. But we'll take you guys back to the blueberry farm. We'll go to the lavender farm again. Yeah. We'll do another little show your own Michigan tour. <laughs> you guys should like it. And you should skip those videos because those are the most fun and they have a little bit of you get to see, information and in if them. If you're local to Michigan, yeah. you can check out local businesses to and support them. Support them. Yeah. That's what we like to do. So, just like Mama P, uh, Brandy and Chad, Brandy bakes and she had a little baking station at the uh, Gaylord Far Farmers Market. We had to go yeah. and we had that's where we like to go to get our supplies because that's the biggest 
It's the up north shopping it's mecca. It's the up north shopping mecca <laughs> where your, all your hardware stores are. So that's where yeah. we have to go and yep. we had to go get hardware and supplies. And they and were doing, and they were doing, yeah, they were doing Alpine Fest and they always have every Saturday a small farmer's market and locals there sell stuff in the pavilion. So you guys should go check it out. Yeah, if you're ever up in the area, yeah. check it out. Skip the Dunkin' Donuts, Tim Hortons, and the Panera and go see Mama P. Do it. You won't. You won't regret the it. Bagel is very good. Very yeah. fresh. Delicious. Yeah. We're gonna be back there ourselves. 100%. So, we'll put her information in the uh, link box or the description box. We'll put a link to her. Yeah. If you're local in Michigan yeah. or local up in this area. If you're ever in the Gaylord area, they have that uh, far little farmers market. is awesome. That was the most delicious bagel I've had in a long time. So, <laughs> so thanks guys. They support our channel and. Uh, yeah, we we try to support you guys too. We appreciate you. So, uh, let's see what's in the garden, right? Yeah, let's let's pick the garden real quick. We're gonna make dinner here shortly, but let's see what's in the garden. So, guys, we kind of mentioned we put this fence up here in the back. This is our cucumber trellis, and they're doing their job. They're growing up. We have tons of flowers all over the plants. We have little baby cucumbers, and then look. Cucumbers. There's a small one that'll be ready in a couple days. There's a bigger one behind it. That's probably pickable. That's probably perfect eating size, actually. So there's a couple there. A couple more over here, guys. Look, there's that. These all grow so fast. Like this one's a day away. This one's two days away. And we have a few in there hiding, and another one up here. So we're gonna have a little bit of cucumber with our dinner. So cucumbers, a, a plenty. We could pick those and a couple of yellow squash. And we'll leave the yellow squash in the next couple days. So let's check it out from this angle. Or whatever kind of pepper that is. Hungarian wax, oh. those ones. Our Hungarian wax. See it right here, guys. There's a little pepper. <laughs> a little pepper right here. A little. So these will be ready in a few, a week or two. This one. Yep. That one looks about ready. I'm gonna reach down there and break the stem off. There you go. Look at that. Perfect. Careful guys, the cucumbers sneak up on you. Uh-huh. You think there's none and then there's twenty. And they yeah, get over a lot of cucumbers. Yeah. These ones, I don't know if these are crossbred. These are not yellow. They're like wanna be yellow, but they're greenish, so I don't know if they're crossbred, hybrid. Maybe it's a zucchini plant. Well zucchinis would be green green, like dark green. Yeah. So so guys, garden's doing really well. Uh, we've been watering it a lot, because like Jenny said earlier, the rain is going around us. But all our peppers will catch up. Peppers are a late harvest. They're like an August thing. And then they're a little squash of some sort or pumpkin. Winter squash. winter squash. I don't know if that's a winter squash as well or a pumpkin. I don't know. We're not quite sure. Not quite sure. These are spaghetti stuff. squash, and they'll grow and you know get yellow. I think our tomatoes are getting crowded out here. I've been cutting a few of the leaves off. I've been cutting a few of the squash leaves off just to expose the tomatoes. Like they're doing better over there. These ones got crowded right here, so they'll take off here soon. Got our melon, there's our melon. It's like the size of a softball now. Then More spaghetti squash. Yellow squash galore. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of yellow squash. <laughs> We're gonna be eating lots of yellow squash. Yep. <laughs> This one's a little bumpy. <laughs> the 
this one in here is good too. There you go. There we go. A couple yellow squash. There's one or one on the back too. I'll go grab it. I think I'll go grab. So we're we're pretty happy, guys, with the garden results this year. Hopefully it continues on and get lots of stuff. Yeah. So yeah. we're gonna go bake some low carb pizzas, eat our cucumber, put the squash away, and uh, we'll see you in a little bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? Are you gonna eat your mama? <laughs> Get her. Get her. <laughs> Vicious killer. Oh, yep. All right, guys. We just went and got water, did some gardening. Now we're getting ready. Now we're getting ready to put some strapping on and maybe a few pieces of roofing. So let's get the strapping done. Good. One down, one to go. We got a couple sheets of metal on here. Doesn't quite make it to the end, but.
this up in here as much as we can. Probably maxed out, right? Yeah. There we go. That'll do for now. That's not going to lift because it's tucked underneath. We're going to have to try to scoot it that way just to titch every single panel because they're getting off kilter. Yeah. Here we go. Look at all that roof space, guys. We're going to get some gutters up here in the next, like, week or so. And then maybe it will actually rain. And we'll have beautiful amounts of rain collection with going so on. so much water, we won't know what to do with it. Be able all. to put a tank back here maybe somewhere. Yeah. Be nice. Yeah, this will be this will be perfect for storage stuff. We got one side done. One side and we're out of metal. So. Yep, we're out of metal. And I don't know if we'll get started on the other side tomorrow because there's a huge pile of wood. So we might have to move it or... Whatever, so this might be the end of the video. <laughs>